next guest. It's a very funny comedian who's currently making a film in London with Harvey Keitel called Red Light Runners, which will be out later this year. Please welcome Rich Hall. <laughs> Thanks once again for having me on the show. What is that written on a cue card? What is no. that? Oh. <laughs> now, uh, Rich, uh, first of all, it's great to have you here. Thank you. You uh, you do a very original comedy routine that uh, that you you did for us once before, and I understand you have an uh, that you might be able to do an updated version of it. You do a, a candy bar oh, no, routine, I'm and I, I, I I'm not doing that crap routine. No, no. I, Pete, Pete no, the candy I, bar routine is oh, it's crap. I think I, that people would like to see the candy bar routine. I, I I hate that stupid routine. All right, well, it's, you know, it's it's what I'd like to, come on, just help I'd, us out. I'd ra no, I'd rather just tell a story. Okay. More real stuff. I don't need to rely on chocolate bars to, did you buy some? Yeah, I bought a whole, <laughs> I bought a whole bag of well, all different kinds of. Well, if you bought them, yeah, you can handle it. Just mix them up really well. Well, you're just going to tell a story. Yeah, I'd mix rather tell up. a real story. This is a true story. True what's story. your, uh, what's your favorite, um, uh, food? Um, Sarah? Sausages. Yeah. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> I love sausages, and it's a funny thing. I'm walking down uh, the street today here in New York, looking for a good, tasty sausage, and and out just pop one out of nowhere. I, I see these weird mounds, right? right? Like in the snow. You know, it snowed today, and there are these weird mounds popping up in the snow. And I thought, could those be sausages lying on the pavement, <laughs> sidewalk, pavement? And and all of a sudden, I think I snicker when I think about this because they weren't. They, when I looked down, they weren't sausages at all. They were. It was a. It was more like a big zero. A big nothing, right. like an existential nothing, Sarah. Just a, there was nothing there. You think, how can there be a lump in the ground and then be nothing there? And I thought, and there's a woman there, but her fingers are going, come this way, come this way. And the next thing I know, I go down this alleyway. I'm dragged down. I guess it's a woman with a Kit Kat. She had a tiny little Kit Kat, a little cat about that big, kind of like, you know, I don't even remember what kind of cat it was. It was probably, a, it had trouble with its balance. So it was probably like a, a three-legged cat. I'm down an alley, and, and uh, she goes on a spree at that point. She just goes on a nutty spree like a violent, crazy, good and plenty of violence. That's what it was. She pulls out this thing like a Swedish fish. What the hell is that? A Swedish fish. Big. I've never even heard of that one. That's she pulls out a fish, and she starts banging the cat till it's covered in dots. The, the cat, the poor cat, just a kitten covered in these dots, and I say, oh, Henry, that was a woman's name, right? <laughs> Henrietta, Henry, what the hell? And he says, look, you goober, don't ever come near my cat. And I hear a crunch at that point, and I swear to God, the poor cat, its little twizzlers are, like, skittling all over the place, <laughs> and they're shooting in every direction. And I say, lady, I have to chuckle at this point, because there's nothing funnier than a cat covered in little, uh, I had to nestle the cat, <laughs> just in my armpit. I just kind of nestled it like that and hugged it and she said that'll cost you a hundred grand i went what the hell are you talking i dove on her at that point i just wrestled the woman to the ground i said what's the score why are you trying to call me a hundred grand and then the entire symphony of the entire new york city symphony comes up the alleyway i'm not making this up this is a true story the entire symphony it was just two guys mike and ike there's been some uh, there's been some uh, employment action of some sort there. And it was just one of them is Twix, uh, bass player and uh, uh, cellist. And the other, I think, plays a red hot. Um, I don't know what the reason is for what he does. Anyway, my point to this story is, if you're ever walking down the street and you see mounds or any kind of whatchamacallit, like a hump or a whatchamacallit, then just buy a hot tamale <laughs> instead of a sausage. Yeah, true story. Oh my gosh. There. There's your little chocolate bar routine. You were in the so zone then. there, pal. I was for a minute. <laughs> you tell a mean uh, yarn. What is a Swedish fish? I don't know. <laughs> I think you wet yourself when you oh, saw that. Oh boy. Uh, thank you, sir. Look for the movie Red Light Runners uh, this year. Rich Hall is a good man. Take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around. Wow. That is good candy.
All right, I want to thank my guest, uh, Rich Hall. Thank you very much for being here, sir. You're a good man. <laughs> a big thanks to Sarah Ferguson for being here. Thank you very much. All right, thanks to Ben Stiller for showing up and making it all happen. Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg Seven. Take him to last call with Carson. Goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.